coming at you from Scratcher Wolf Studio. It's Rage Across the Internet presents Wherever Gaia Takes Us, a werewolf apocalypse let's play. Starring Daniel Tyson as Ricochet. And I'm your storyteller Porter. Interlude 1. Ricochet. It's been five days since the destruction of Station 2. Work crews are already in place to repair the damage done to the Golden Way plant. Officially labeled as a methane explosion caused by malfunctioning of ventilation systems, there were only three reported deaths. Currently out of work and enjoying paid vacation courtesy of Golden Way, the plant workers and combined with the construction crews have made blending in town that much easier. Compared to all the new strange faces, the invading Garu are practically family after all. Carter and Ricochet have been tasked with keeping an eye on the construction crew. Currently, they're camped out in the woods in the southern tip of the island, a good half mile east of the underground entrance to Station 2. They are tasked with going through the trash after the fact, to find anything of use. They are currently engaged in fisticuffs. Alright. Explain this to me again, please. What's so hard to understand here? You broke into the base, dog. They were building it. So we're sent to see if we can find anything useful in the trash. Ooh, I mean your voice. Ah, <sighs> Carter growls in exasperation. Oh, God damn it! For the last time, break a punch me in the throat during training, and now this is just how I sound. Fucking get over it, dog. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I meant I'm sorry. I just, it's, just, it's not what I meant. <laughs> Carter stands, a scrawny five foot six, toe headed. His hair is cut short and matted down to ma- uh, much like a young Eminem. These contrasts with his ears, which stick out, making him look somewhat like an albino monkey. He wears a navy hoodie with a white t shirt, stained brown underneath. His baggy cargo pants fit loose and hang down, almost completely covering his brown boots. Irritated with Ricochet's comments, he jits forward, grabbing the back of the younger Bonar's shirt. He begins pulling it over your head. Hey, man, no fair. What the fuck is fair, man? You're willing to fight. You take a couple shots in the kidney. He pulls the shirt further up. It, it's uh, at your elbows at this point. Your arms straight out. <laughs> kind of stuck. So, so we're talking a hockey fight. 100%. Here. All right. This is your problem, dog. You're always getting cute. Trying to bounce around and shit. Yeah, that's a problem. I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to impress or something. <laughs> When we'll press you, learn the fucking fight. (coughs) Just continue barraging your sides, your kidneys, the back of your neck. You feel your weight give out from under you, unable to see anything. (laughs) As you fall to the ground. (coughs) I I get the point. Get up, bitch. All right. You can hear uh, the scraping of boots in the dirt next to you, simulating the extra kicks that you'd be deserving by laying there still. Huh. All right, well then, uh, trying to get up, I think I would try and pull an ankle out as I'm getting up. Where is he? Where's his ankles? All you can see is the middle of your shirt, my friend. Well, at that point, I just tried taking it off then. All right. (laughs) <laughs> well, you you pull the shirt completely off. He covers his eyes a bit as the sun bounces off your skin. <laughs> the sheer paleness of it creating a bit of a flashbang effect. 
Carter covers his eyes a second and kicks up some dirt around where your face is. He takes a few steps back and balances on the balls of his feet. He lets his hands to his sides. See, man, you've got to think quicker than that. The fuck's wrong with you, dog? If this was a real fight, you'd be fucking dead. Yeah. Well, I ain't pulling my claws on you. <laughs> yeah, no shit, you ain't pulling your claws on me. You'd be fucking dead, son. He takes a few steps forward, offering his hand. Grab it. Pull up. So you should have flung some dirt in my eyes and gave me a headbutt or some shit. Fucking dummy. He musses your hair a bit. I'll remember next time. Yeah, next time you might end up dead. See, you got to get this honor bullshit out of your head. I understand you're big bad Aaron man, you know, howling at the moon. But fucking, we children are rat, dog. Yeah. Well, you need to learn to scrap. See, rat, he don't take no shit. I get that. I just thought maybe it was more of a, uh, you know, learn to survive. Knows what I, I know what I need to do. I don't think that you do, but that's why we're here to help you. You mean shit, dog? You been a girl, what, like 20 minutes? A little over. I mean, it's all right. You got these notions, but shit. You know, rat. They talk shit on him, but he don't take the shit. You bide your time. You look for the weakness. You take advantage, man. All right. Well, I get it. There's like something in my back or something. I can't, can, you, can you take a look at that? I just can't reach. Is there something there? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, like, I know what you're doing. If people are listening, you have to use words. This is yeah. radio. <laughs> so, it, if he looks, he gets closer to look. Quick back elbow to the face. Roll it. Four to hit. Strength. And we're still in Hamid, so obviously he ain't doing shit here, but. One, two, three, four. All right. You position yourself waiting for Carter to take the bait when you swing with your elbow. You barely make connect just just above his eye. It's not the it's not the great hit, but you can feel the impact. He takes a step back, staggering. Oh, you motherfucker! Hey, you, you, you told me I'm learning. He responds by shifting his weight back forward, stomping on the back of your uh, the back of your leg, right b- below the knee, forcing you to take that position. Hmm. He then throws an arm around your neck. Right there at the base of his elbow. It's not a super tight grip. Good headlock then. Decent. Yeah, but he's not, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's got you in the headlock. You sneaky little bitch. You feel his knuckle dig into the top of your head. <sighs> See, generously applies a noogie. <laughs> I think I'll roll to do it, but I'm going to shift the glabro in kind of a, a back head swing. All right. Damn, primary arch. Okay. Diff seven. One, two, three. Yeah, that's an instant transformation. Nice. And then a, a back swing of the head. All right. That just be dex brawl. Mm-hmm. Strength is uh, damage should be strength. Well, for the hit first, right? Well, right, but that that's the next question, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Three. 
three to hit. So strength plus two. Strength two, five, six, seven. All right. Your body quickly shifts to Globber in response. You throw your head back. Ah, fuck! <coughs> I do have fair Globber, by the way. Was it going to tell you you're pretty? Is that what you're looking for? I've, uh, no, I'm just uh, giving you as a storyteller heads up. That's all. Shit, dog. You're looking hot, Ricochet. You want to bang? No, that's not what happened. No, it's not. <laughs> you ricochet off these balls, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you swing your head back. Absolutely catch him in your off guard. What the fuck? You feel a tugging at your hair as he grips on. <laughs> Suddenly a foot in between your shoulder blades. Mm. It happens so fucking fast. He flips up, jumping around you, or jumping over you at that point. He spins. You see his body also shifting to Glabro. He lunges. A punch directly to your diaphragm. It knocks you back into a tree. He doesn't go for the follow through, but stands tall. His head cocked to the side. He spits to the ground. You in there, motherfucker? Yeah, all right, bitch. <coughs> all right. I get it. I'm getting it. Truce. So I thought maybe you'd say you're welcome for the tra- thank you for the training, Carter. I'll yes, thank you for the training, Carter. Yeah, you welcome, son. Fucking shit, cause where'd you learn to fight like that? By being a garu, bitch. I've been doing this a few years, you know. Fair enough. That's right. I'm the Mac Daddy of the Bone Dog, man. <laughs> you be calling me Papa Carter one of these days. You fucking wish. Shit. <laughs> you fucking wish. Yeah, wish my nuts. He reaches into his pocket, pulling out a bit of a flask. Yeah, I'll give you some of that. Yeah, there you go. That's right. He tosses it to you. Yeah. So how you be feeling about all this shit? I don't know, man. This is... There's some heavy shit in there, and then what we've seen, what we know, this, look, this life already isn't normal, (laughs) but this is our normal. How does this island even operate? How do these people continue their day? With this kind of shit going on. Man, they don't know what's going on. That's the veil, baby. This is not. Look at this fucking place. Yeah. There's no way this should be this built back up already. Five days? Yeah, and they still cleaning shit up. (sighs) I mean, they can't leave it. What else is here that we don't know about? Yeah, man, a time, right? Hopefully sooner than later. Well, what, you got somewhere to be? Uh, I guess right here. Shit, man, this is the job. I get that, but... Man, some of the shit we've seen down there, that still floods my mind. Man, and that shit worry me. Because what you ain't seeing ain't enough to keep you up at night yet. 
I think that's the bigger problem, right? Like, motherfucker, I've walked in on people eating babies. Just like live. Fucking family unhooking his jaw like a fucking snake. That's fucked. You know, you see people get split open. You have a skin of man? Me? No. Yeah, someday. Someday, bitch. Mark my words. Man. I mean, you find some skull pigs. That's some heavy shit, man. I give you that. That's some dangerous fucking shit. And I bet you that stink ain't ever going to get off your skin. I can still smell it on you. <laughs> That's probably why they stuck me with you, huh? Yeah, I can put up with it. <laughs> Man. Reached into his hoodie, lighting a cigarette. It's uh, just part of the game, man. That's probably why they stuck us at this fucking job, too, huh? They don't want to be near any of this goddamn garbage. I will imagine that. A couple bonos at the dumpsters. It's just a no-brainer. Tell you what, fucking Breaky ain't gonna do it. No. Shit, I knew that shit yesterday when I saw her putting that toenail polish on. <laughs> yeah, work to be done. She working on a tan right now, I fucking guarantee it. Well, until this place gets back up, what kind of recon can we possibly do other than this fucking dump? Well, we ain't doing recon. We fucking picking up the scraps, man. We haven't seen fucking shit yet. Oh, we ain't been here long. Fuck, man. They're going to fill up the dumpsters. We follow them to the dump and we have our time. What kind of shit did you guys see down there? Man, I ain't even want to talk about that shit. That's some nasty shit. <clears throat> Rather smell like your ass and go back in there. <sighs> that bad, huh? Nasty, Wes. It's another day in the job, man. Well. Fucking a lot of blood shit. Not a whole lot to show for it. Shit. That's kind of the job, too, ain't it? Yeah, it's part of it. At the very least, at least we know where the Willow's kid is. I'll never forget the look on that fucker's face. Don't. It's just... It's almost like an excitement. Not just anticipation, but excitement. That shit still haunts me, dude. I don't buy that shit. Fucking it's like a squeaky Jesse Pinkman. <laughs> all right. So you think all those stations are here on the same island? Yeah, man. That's the point of that shit, isn't it? Oof. The, man, what the fuck are they doing? Well, that become a question, isn't it? Shit. Then how do we prevent this from going up? You mean them fixing this one? Yeah. You don't. The fuck can we do? I mean, we can keep breaking it, but then what? Yeah, at least slows them down, right? Or they just move shit somewhere else. Yeah, we don't want that. At least here it's contained. Do we know where they are right now? Yeah, that too. But fuck, for all I know, they fill this shit with concrete after the fact. Maybe all we did was push them somewhere else. I tell you what I don't want to start doing, though, is, fine, is done fucking running underground in them old fucking mine shafts. Mine shafts? Now, you got to pay attention to a briefing, motherfucker. Dave told us last week. Yeah, I might have been sleeping on that one. Sorry. You know, at that point, maybe we just find out how many mine shafts this island had, and that's how many stations, potentially? Man, fucking, I don't even want to be fucking spelunking for the rest of my days. No way. <laughs> Shit, if they're all connected, even, we, we blow one and they all go. 
Well, that shit didn't happen, did it? No. But they were just covering their fucking tracks. Ah, this place is fucked up, though. Yeah. So how'd you get hooked up with these guys anyway? What, a pack? Yeah. With all due respect, my friend, it's not really one I'd see keeping a bonar around. Especially far for. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Shit, dog. How about people fucking meet people? Fucking, uh, ran into the crew, uh, back in fucking Ohio as my original hood. You know, I was up at the point fucking working my magic on some of the honeys down there. I bet you were. It's a good fucking time. And I peep, I peep this blonde, right? Cut off the tank top and all this shit. And I come up to make my move. And then fucking surfer boy out of nowhere comes. Get me by the fucking throat. Which I thought, right, was the problem. You know, Bodie, he ain't a, he ain't a, little, he ain't a little guy. But then fucking that right hook on, on fucking Mia. <laughs> all of a sudden, I'm on the ground starting to pick up my teeth. About ready to shift in the crown to make the paper tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I get it. Yes, it's got to be infuriating. Five four shows up his foot at my fucking throat. Shit. There's almost a problem, too. But, you know, my crew at the time, they came up and started some static. But then there were some people. We calmed down and shit. Turns out they were there for a job. We were supposed to meet them as a contact anyway, right? I didn't, I didn't know. Fucking above my pay grade and shit. But we hooked up then. And, um, you know, and all said it, dog. He invited me with. Carter's eyes shift to the side. He looks away a little. About three years ago. Hmm. They've been my crew ever since. And that old crew? He reaches for his flask. Pours a little bit on the ground. Do us to pack that, didn't you? Yeah, kind of. The fuck's kind of? It was the rite of passage. We weren't really a pack. They were just kind of thrown out together. It was just a convenience. It was supposed to be a pack. That's yeah. how that works. Obviously, there were other plans for me, huh? Yeah, apparently. Menu? Other plans for you, too? I was going to say, what menu? I ain't hungry, bitch. Actually, I am hungry, bitch, but... <laughs> hmm. So, how'd you get started? <laughs> how'd you learn all about this? What happened to you? What happened to me? What happened to you? You're fucking living life, man. No, man, I, like... Your change, when you shifted that first time. Oh, fuck, I'd ask a, year, a million years ago. That shit don't matter more than your first piss. No, you're right. It shouldn't matter, but don't you ever think maybe if it never happened, would you be happy? Fuck, man. Is that what we doing? What, you wish you were in Garu? You want to be one of them bitches picking up the trash with that construction crew? No. No. They're just sheep. God damn right. That shit ain't no life. This one ain't much better either, though. Nah, fuck all that, dog. Shit, you peeped this, man. We might be baiting in the muddy water, but at least it's real. We doing that real shit. That shit that matters. We live in life on the right. Fucking. I don't even know what the fuck I do. Oh, man. I, just, I guess I'm just trying to figure out that purpose. Slowly but surely. <laughs> it's just. Fuck that purpose, man. You know your purpose. That's what I mean. You fucking got him. You got his claws, bitch. You fucking out around. You keep your pack alive. And why? So we keep Gaia around, motherfucker. I mean, shit. It's like Rat said, we got the underdog to watch out for. That's why we so fucking low on the totem pole, so we see everything from down here. Ain't no one pay attention. We see the shit, because they don't think we looking. They don't care if we looking. Yeah, I do like that advantage. 
Just do something about that hair. What's wrong with my hair? You look like an asshole, dog, with that spiky shit. Yeah, well, that's maybe because I'm an asshole. He stands out. As he runs his hand over his short, fucking blonde hair. Mm. Probably not nearly as much as those fucking ears. Man, fuck you, dog. I got swagger. (laughs) That's what happened. All right. The bandana stays around. The hair sticks out. I thought I was cool. And I just kept doing it. Yeah, I remember being a kid, too. Give me that shit. He snakes the bandana off your head. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, give me a bitch. Yeah. You hear him manipulating the bandana behind you. He's clearly unfolded it or whatever. You could feel him putting it over your head and tying it around. Like a full do-rag. He ties it tightly behind you, uh, behind your head. There you go, son. Oh, yeah. I stick out way less now. (laughs) He cuffs you in the back of the head. And then points out. His cigarette, leaning to an angle as the smoke, almost pointing in the direction that his fingers are. You can see above, in the road above, a flatbed truck passing by, a dumpster loaded in the flatbed. There's our cue. Looks like it's about that time, man. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. Then, uh... If we're, yeah, we're still in the woods. Let's shift to Lupus and start heading that same direction. Shit, dog, what's your hurry? You said we got a job to do. Carter stands upright, starts scratching his stubble, leisurely walking the woods in the same direction that the truck's moving. You, however, switch to Krinos, or to Lupus, not Krinos, and start running away. Well, I'm going to keep looking back. If he's not... Oh, he's not at all. He's not. All right. He's leisurely I'll, strolling. <laughs> I'll turn back around and get back to him and shift back up to Ahmed. <laughs> Fuck kids, dog. What you wasting all that energy for? We know where he's going. All right. I mean... <laughs> I guess you said we had a job to do. We do, and we're going to go do it. You think we're going to find some food while we're out here? Well, you hungry? Always. That's shit, dog. We can make that happen. All right, let's do it. Give you some of my own fucking self. But I'll tell you what, babe. He's, conti- um, he's continuing to walk through the woods along the path. Eventually, you two make your way up to the road, casually walking along the side of it. The road, of course, leading up into Midtown. You know what worries me, though? About all this shit going down? What's that? It's the spirals your boy Mr. Miyagi found. Yeah, that was, uh... I've I've encountered before, and that was... Yo, spirals don't play. Like, I'm glad he was there to wax off them motherfuckers, but... Right. They ain't gonna be the only ones. And the way he got fucked up tells me... That there was more than just what he took out. Mm-hmm. I mean, shit's gonna get serious around here, bitch. Yeah. No, I get it. And there are way more people around here that uh, it, it's concerning. Yeah, it's the shit to think about. Yeah, if there was one, even two, we know there's more. <laughs> shit like cockroaches or glass walkers. You know my right, dog? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Those bastards. You skittery bitches. <laughs> Can't trust them, huh? Yeah. You don't get me wrong, you know, five four is different, but Well, you know five four's got your back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, five four ain't done wrong by me, you know. Well, I'm glad they found you, man. Glad you found your purpose. Yeah, suppose I ain't mad you ain't dead. 
Take it. Putting the fist out, waiting for him to tap it. That's weird. I'd be a little early for that, too. Bumping fists? Yeah. Might be like five years early for that. Maybe ahead of your time. He, fuck it, though. He looks at the fist for a second. A little bit confused. He reaches his hand out, grabbing it and shaking it. <laughs> yeah, right, man. Yeah, we'll work on that. <laughs> I didn't even think about it, yeah. Maybe five years early at least. Maybe a little, little early for that. <laughs> no one did that shit yet. I don't know if the fist bump, I don't believe. I, I didn't fist bump nobody. No, uh, I mean, yeah, the first time I saw that shit was the Street Fighter movie. That's a scary thought, right? Yeah, that maybe is. that's where the fist bump came from. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Fucking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ming Na Wen and Jean Claude Van Damme on set fist bump. I'm going, where's my cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> that's where the fist bump extra was because they had the, the lines across the knuckles. <laughs> oh, fist bump. I see. <laughs> Jesus Christ. (laughs) You make your way into Midtown. You know, the road finally converging. You see uh, a nearby park. You know, nothing as lush and green as some of the other ones over in the east or in the west end. Mm -hmm. But you can hear some, uh, some milling about. Yeah, some kids playing and some playscapes and some shouting here and there. Some definitely some trash talking. As you see a fenced in basketball court. You got any scratch? Mm mm. Ah, bitch. Maybe it's time to sing for your supper. Let's hope those marbles in your pants are the only balls you know how to handle, eh? <laughs> he gives it not a little point over to the basketball court. There are four boys playing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> so, hold on. You want to go play these guys? I mean, I played in school, but like... Yeah, then play better than that. Carter, who had already started walking toward the boys... Spins, takes a few steps backwards while he looks at you. Well, hope you played better than back then, huh? He spins back around without missing a beat to walk up to the four young men playing. You can't hear what's going on, but you can tell that instantly these guys seem to be a little irritated and kind of aggressive. Well, I'm going right there. I'm following them as fast as I can. Yeah, the shit eating grin on, on Carter's face is fucking brilliant. He could plaster the sky with the thing. His eyes almost locked with yours the entire time as if kind of taunting you. Mm-hmm. Yes, my man here. You pick your team, dog. He reaches in behind and pulls the uh, gold chain from off his neck, handing it to a one of the two boys who go to sit on the sideline. All right, that is, bitch. Ten bucks a ten bucks a ball versus my fucking chain. Game point at ten. All right. He gives you a look, taking a few steps back. Don't embarrass me, bitch. Let's see what you got. All right. Let's see what got. Let me just get your deck staff lad ready. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and then do another set for Dex Firearms. <laughs> what the fuck? You're shooting. <laughs> okay. See, shooting, right? Yeah, no, I got it. <laughs> All right. All right, the third boy, the one not holding the money. Mm-hmm. Prepares a jump ball. Carter versus the taller of the two boys that are playing. Um, 
a darker skinned boy in a red uh, red t shirt versus okay. his partner who is wearing a uh, Chicago Bulls jersey. Hmm. That feels right to me. Yeah. Uh, 90s? Yes, it does. Certainly wouldn't be the Pistons. Mm. <laughs> Fuck you, Isaiah. <laughs> Broke my heart. <laughs> All right. No, I got the. I'm going to see about this. I got, I got two sets here. Actually, this. Because that one's less for firearms. <laughs> These aren't real values, but they don't have to be. Because this is fun. Mm-hmm. Not- a fucking actual combat. No, I get it. This, yeah, this is fun. So at the jump, the fucking taller guy gets the advantage. He wins the tip off, knocking it to his friend in the Bulls jersey. Pippin makes his way. <laughs> it is. It's Pippin and Jordan now. Fuck it. <laughs> Pippin makes his way. A beautiful shot from three-point land. Oh, that's how it starts. Yes, right. The ball's checked. Back and forth between Carter and uh, and Jordan. (laughs) Jordan passes to Pippen right in front of you. Going for the steal. Takes out that. Sure. Diff. (laughs) Let's just assume standard. <laughs> Three. All right, you grab the steel. You've got the ball. Fake left, fake right. Do do something. He's going to take the ball back. You're just standing there. <laughs> Dribbling down. Uh, fake pass into a layup. Dex up there or the firearms? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I care about the pacing at this point. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Uh, two for the shot. Sloppy. It bounces off the rim. Whoever Carter gets the rebound. He tosses it back to you for a second shot. Three. Swish. <laughs> That's how we do it in Rat Town, bitches. You and Pippin, ball check to you. Ball check to me. He uh, bounced past the Carter. Dex Athlete. That's a two. He narrowly gets the pass away from the opponent. Taking a fake, he dribbles going around. Beautiful shot. He leaps into the air and oh! Slam, dunk. How did this man get so much air? It's impossible. It's embarrassing for the other team is what this shit is. The game continues point for point. A missed shot. A rebound by Pippen. Who sneaks around putting another flawless jump shot in the air. They find themselves ahead. You hear the two boys at the side scream, yeah, go horny toads! Which gives you pause. (laughs) Yeah, I go to look over at Carter and go, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's why, punks? You fucking outsiders? Part of the Willow's High Horny Toads. Yeah, I bet you are. My boy's captain of the team. Yeah, Shane's going to look real good on my girl. Oh, I'm sorry. We have some educated motherfuckers here. What you saying to that, Ricky? <laughs> do, do these guys even know what a horny toad is? 
Yeah, to, to fucking lose it in a minute is what it's going to be. You're goddamn right. Let's step up this game, son. Shockingly, a high school athlete is probably still a better basketball player uh-huh. than a middle school dropout. Uh-huh. And whatever the fuck it is that Carter is. Uh-huh. Despite your unorthodox athletic training. The two of you continue on and manage to keep the game pretty close. Carter wipes a little sweat off his brow. Man, his be bong shit. I played a game in a fucking while. Tell you what, I tried to shit with Makaifa. He's like three months ago. Nah, man. <laughs> this shit get distracted by a fucking bumblebee. Yeah, these kids are, I mean, being on the team and shit, they're, they're taking it pretty serious. And then bitches think they're going to get my chain. They ain't getting my chain, so you ain't losing this match. And you want to stand me? I'm taking this shit out of your ass. We lose. Like, okay. No, we, I don't want to lose. I don't like fucking losing. Hey, your girl's going to play or what? Punk ass is getting on my last nerve. All right. The next play begins. Your opponent's getting a little bit cocky. Jordan charges you directly with the ball. Stepping like he's going to throw an elbow. He does a behind the back pass to his partner. Who grabs the ball sailing right past Carter for a layup? <sighs> Stupid. Gain a reach. <laughs> That's eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, seven. Man, y'all stink. Man, she's just the game. I mean, you guys reek, man. Man, fuck you. You wish. <laughs> the guys at the side are laughing. Balls in play. <laughs> Set up a pass to Carter and then a set of screen. All right. That's athletic. <laughs> <laughs> you can just roll it. You have to keep saying it. It's just funny. All right. Three. Damn. For only having five dice. It's actually kind of nice. I think we know what your specialty is going to be. <laughs> Passing? That's right. Y'all balla. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Be Rico three points from now on. <laughs> The pass is successful. And immediately to a jump shot. Couple bounces off the rim, but sinks it just the same. The game continues fast and furious. And quickly enough, you find yourself at game point. Their ball or our ball? Their ball. All right, man. We're going to make this count. We got this shit, yeah? You just get ready to sink that fucking sink that fucking point in, man. We're gonna make them eat shit. And then we're gonna eat well, dog. Ain't that right? Yeah. One quick high five. And Carter steps. Check. Uh-huh. It's him and Jordan. The ball passing back and forth, their eyes locked, fucking hatred. Jordan catches the ball in the check. He fakes left. And immediately passes it to his right. Pippin sneaks in front of you and grabs the ball. You burn a rage. (laughs) Moving in for the pass. For the steal. He narrowly avoids it. Keeping the ball in possession. But now finding himself forced to pass. Carter steps in front. Grabbing the ball directly out of the air. He goes to pivot to shoot, but is blocked entirely. He looks back to you. 
passing you the ball directly. You get a firm grip. You are wide the fuck open. Go for a shot. Take your shot, dude. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> you launch the ball. It sails through the air. Rim. Rim. It circles now. Hitting the backboard and bouncing off. Pippin grabs it effortlessly, passing it to Jordan, who sinks it from downtown. <laughs> so I had zero? <laughs> Fuck! I guess I could have used Lucky. <laughs> the grin on Jordan's face as he takes a step up to Carter. That's right! Bam! Yeah, bitch. Bam. As he sucker punches the high school boy. <laughs> Congratulations, bitch. He starts. He, he knocks the kid down directly and starts stomping on his ribs. The other two get off the stands and start rushing Carter. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to go take their stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're all all of them. All the kids going after Carter? No, the other two. The two on the side. So now there's four kids on Carter. I'm going through their bags. Okay, well, there will be in a second, sure. Okay. I'm going to go steal their stuff. Yeah, go steal wallets. All right. Roll your uh, Dex Larceny. Because that's a stat now. Two. All right, you slowly go through their stuff as Carter is in the middle of a four versus one fight. <laughs> <laughs> wow, all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll come to his aid in a second. It's the eye round fucking staying out of the fight. <laughs> one of them's on his back. Throwing punches, the other, you know, two of them doing what they can as he's still stomping the shit out of Jordan. You see him reaching over, flipping the guy on his back down onto the ground. He's laughing, kicking the shit out of four high school boys. <laughs> Which is why I went to get stuff. <laughs> he can handle it. <laughs> laughing his ass off. However, you can hear some police sirens a little bit in the distance. Carter shakes the boys loose and starts running, jumping the fence on the other side of the uh, the basketball court. I'm following him, yeah. Wallet's in hand. Did you grab his chain? Yes. Went for the money that we put in his chain. Plus their wallets. But you didn't say any of that. Well, it's, you had a thing going on, and that was the, that was my plan. All right. You were also, apparently, yes, you had a plan. So. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> what a delightful scene I thought this would be. It was fun, yeah. No, no, I would absolutely, I would take the money, the chain back, and their wallets. You run a couple blocks out, ducking into an alley. Carter's laughing his ass off. Pulling a cigarette to light it. You got my chain? Yeah, I got it. Hand it over. He puts it back on. Shit, man, I gotta admit, dog. I thought maybe you would also fight being a full moon and all. Everybody thought about it, but... I understand. You were scared. The high school kids and all. No, 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 no. You, you know, they've hit puberty. They probably got hand on the balls and you was just like, I don't know what to do. I understand. No. You had a plan. I had a plan too. You looked like you were having fun. I was giving you the moment. Yeah, all right. We'll make sure to tell you pack that way instead of the real version. Mm. I got you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, now we can eat good. I show them the money and their wallets. Uh, you start to go through them. Aside from the hundred that you totally fairly won in the basketball game, there's about 35 bucks left. 
It's good enough. Toss the wallets down. Don't need those. Oh, man, that's a good bite to eat. Mm-hmm. You continue making your way down Midtown and uh, laughing, joking, celebrating your win. It, uh, a bit of a hot dog stand. A little, uh, not like the cart, but a little, you know, corn dog, hot dog, ice cream place. All right. You know, make your orders and post up on a nearby picnic table. Sure. Probably sitting on top of it. That's what I was thinking. Too. Yep. There you go. She's the cool kids. Uh-huh. <laughs> Man. Been a while since I played any basketball. I could tell. <laughs> Just seemed like you were more in for that fight than you were the actual ball playing. I wasn't giving up my fucking chain. I wasn't going to let that happen. Well, you did. I didn't hand it over. Did you hand it over? Yes, you did. I ain't the one missed that shot. We could have lost by 20. I was still going to get that chain back for you. And we're still never in danger of losing it. <laughs> don't you remember? You don't pick fights that you know you can't win for sure. Is that what you think happened? Did you think I would have trouble with a high school boy? Did you know I could shoot? I don't remember being nearly that good. Man, I don't know about you sometimes, shit. Basketball wasn't my thing, man. It's about the grift, dog. To the dumpsters. Ah, shit, let's get back to it. Yeah. Drinking hot dogs, still on hand. (laughs) (laughs) Carter starts to make his way toward the dump with you in tow. Until you walk your way through Midtown, over down to Lowtown on the east end. It's almost a nice residential area at this point. Just in the cusp. You find yourself making your way through a dirt road. It's somewhere about mid-afternoon. You move off to the side as you see the flatbed truck coming back toward you. This time with an empty dumpster. Uh huh. You see? You give it time, man. Now they're gone. We got the place to ourselves. So how I feel, man? How do I feel? Well, you lost a pack, man. You got the thing that got her. How you settle with all that? Oh, you talking about the revenge? You'd think it would hurt a little less. I mean, it felt good, but knowing that son of a bitch is gone, but it ain't bringing her back. So how you doing with all that? I just got to remember it wasn't my fault. If I can keep that, then I'll be all right. Yeah, maybe you do your part to make sure that shit don't happen again, dog. I mean, that's the plan, right? That's my job. Yeah, you found a way to do that shit right then. You find your way to the top, to the entrance, rather. It's um further off than you would have thought from the residential area, but... Not so much if you stop and think about it. Right. The land curves down in a dirt path to what is essentially just a giant hole full of garbage. Man, it fucking reeks. Nah, bitch, that is you. I could have said it was you. Yeah, but then you'd be a fucking liar. Cutter starts making his way to what seems to be the latest deposit. Lots of scrap metal and a fair amount of dirt. Mm Mm-hmm. Makes sense, yeah. This is 
This is new. Cutter starts walking around, sifting through. The search begins. It looks a lot more observation than actual digging at first. Carter will find a spot, rip into it a little bit, move some stuff, take a look around, move to other spots. I'm going to, yeah, do kind of the same sift through anything electronic I'm going to try and pay more attention to. Yeah, see your perception awareness. If, if standard, we got two. All right. You continue searching about, digging through. You don't see anything of note, but continue nonetheless. Obviously, Rome wasn't built in a day after all. <laughs> you find yourself sifting through a particular, uh, particularly unpleasant smelling pile. What's your stamina? Okay, roll your soak. Four. Actually, wait. What's my specialty? I got two tens. I don't. I don't think I made a specialty for it. Yeah, whose fault is? What's not written there? So you didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, well, fuck it. It's four. Okay. You cut yourself in a piece of metal. (laughs) Too bad. Oh, God. That's- it's not a particularly bad cut, though you see that it, it could have been. Mm-hmm. You pull your hand out suddenly. Heads up, motherfucker. You turn your head just in time. Dex Athlet. If you have to look, you're off you're off the team. Two. Okay. Because if you don't know your Dex Athlet after rolling it 30 times this story. <laughs> You're fucking done. You're fired. <laughs> you look just in time to see a, uh, what looks like a Frisbee coming directly at your fucking head. Yeah, you go. I'll try and catch it. <laughs> you do. You managed to catch it. Because okay. I'm a nice guy. It's actually a hubcap. Huh. It's um dented and scratched. But it was a, a nice, had a nice chrome plating, and there was a wolf painted on the center of it, like the profile of one, like howling up at the moon. Now, kind of launched at you like a frisbee. The fuck you throwing this at me for? It's pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah. And then I would, as I say it, I would look at it I'm like, oh, all right, uh, I guess that makes sense. Why would they throw this way? <laughs> yeah, it was scuffed up. Well, a little spit shine would help. Fucking one man's trash, right? Fuck you gonna throw yeah. that shit back and no? Yeah. And toss it to him. Right. The two of you play frisbee with this hubcap for a good hour or so. Oh, wow. All right. Try not to step on anything. Don't want to cut myself again. In terms of the search, things were pretty uneventful. Hmm. What pieces of electronic equipment were found were just smashed beyond anything, even remotely salvageable. You did, however, get stuck by a dirty needle and uh, stepped in not one, but three dirty diapers. Oh, my God. God damn it. Carter himself found a bag full of vomit, which is pretty amazing. Mm. We're talking like a shopping bag full, like someone made a collection and got, was fuck? done. <laughs> Ugh. And as the sun came down, the two of you decided that you have had quite enough for the day. Mm-hmm. Realizing that the search would do no good in the darkness, you returned to the cabins to see what the next day might bring. Though you did keep a hold of that hubcap for some reason. Yeah, that wolf head. Looks pretty cool. So I I guess as we're walking back, a couple more tosses back and forth. Okay. okay. Yeah, is, is the two of you, if you play a little bit more frisbee, I guess, is the two of you make your way back to the cabins. You're not sure what the days ahead will bring, but you hope 
that you will be prepared for them. And that'll do it for now. Make sure to tune in in two weeks for the next chapter of Wherever Gaia Takes Us, and next week for the regular episode of Rage Across the Internet. If you like what we do, tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody, and you can always jump onto our Ko-Fi to uh, give us a little support that, oh, trust me, we desperately need. You can find that at uh, ko-fi slash Rage Across the Internet, and you can find us here the same place you found us last week. So be sure to tune in and have some fun with us. You take it easy.